Hey everybody, this is Matthew from Nerd News Today. We're joined now by Aitana from the Noble Collection. Hi, Hi Aitana. Everybody. Hi, how hey. are you? We're doing all right here. So we have a lot of things to look at at the Noble Collection booth today. And we're starting out with this debut of Minecraft stuff. Wow. Of course, yeah. So the Noble Collection actually shared news earlier this year of a brand new licensing partnership with Minecraft. So unveiling for the first time um, to consumers and media here at Comic-Con in New York is the first um, round of the collection. So this is a new, uh, never before seen take on Minecraft, the real world replicas. So this is what Minecraft would look like if you took it from the video game and popped it up in real life. Um, there are six items ranging from $29.99 to $69.99. And everything is real world interpretation with authentic styling cues for the new and immersive Minecraft experience. Definitely something for everybody, collectors uh, and fans alike. And we have a lot of interactive items and yeah. Yeah, this stuff's amazing. I have to tell you, I think Geek years ago, they did some stuff like this, but it was in like very much the game style. This feels like it's actual real stuff. I mean, you got this great wooden texture on the torches, the exactly, glass look yeah. on this acrylic here. Like, it's really great. Like even the swords, like they, they look and feel like the swords, I'd imagine would actually do, you know, if you were in Minecraft, that's great. No, exactly. So the Noble Collection is known for their high-end replicas and collectibles, and this is what their interpretation is of the Minecraft items. And like I said, it's the real-world interpretation, really taking that game, bringing it to life, without losing that authentic feel from the Minecraft world. All right, so we got a bunch of Harry Potter stuff, Aitana. We looked at some of this on the channel before, but I, I've a lot of this I've never seen in person. It, it's really awesome. This stuff's really cool. It, honestly, absolutely beautiful. There's something for everybody, whether it's a plush that's interactive or like the Mandrake over here that, again, if you're a fan, you want you want to interact with it. You really want to bring that world to life. And I think Noble Collection does that beautifully by making sure that it cries and shakes when you remove it from the pot. Very authentic to the film. And we have a lot of magical creatures and you can collect them here. We have the Mandrake, which is so cool. That one is not interactive, which is good. It's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. And we have Dobby as well. Very beautiful. So I think the beauty of the Noble Collection is you have something for everybody. You have ranging price points, but you don't lose that amazing Noble Collection quality. And the attention to detail that they put into every single item is absolutely beautiful. And you can see it when you see it in person, the way that everything just shouts out at you and you can't get enough of it. One of my favorite items is the Ravenclaw diadem. It yeah. just shines beautifully. I want to wear it every single day. And you can have it in the case. And it's such a true to a Noble Collection fan, or sorry, Harry Potter fan and Harry Potter lover. Um, we also have a lot of beautiful jewelry pieces like the Time Turner necklace, which again, you can absolutely wear it as a statement piece or have it displayed. Um, to each their own, really, and I think that's the beauty of every item. And they really shine. I mean, it's oh. one thing to see them on a website and photo, but like, seeing them in person, I mean, they're, they're literally glittering right now in front of my eyes, and there's no special lights or anything doing that. It's just how they are. Exactly. It's absolutely beautiful. I wish, honestly, I wish people could see it in person, just how much it shines. I mean, I just want to it wear it out of here. It doesn't do it justice. <laughs> I don't think security will get, let me uh, get out of here with that, but yeah, I totally would if I could. I feel that. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> and we also have down here the wands. We, we actually did a review of the wands a while ago, and they were gorgeous. And oh, yes, absolutely. They have so many. They are, like, the attention to detail is fantastic. The attention to detail is fantastic. We have something for everybody. You have them. You can get them in collector's boxes, which is the one, the blue one that you see here. Um, you can also purchase wand stands. Um, you can get Hogwarts wand stands or specific wand stands over there um, for the house that you're in, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, and like I said, anything from the Elder Wand down to Death Eater wands and Harry's wand, you have um, whatever your preference, you have one. And, and they're constantly coming out with new ones with Fantastic Beasts, they launched seven new ones to coincide with the, the new film, which is which is great. So it's definitely always growing, always expanding. And I like to say the sky's the limit. Yeah. And speaking of the sky's the limit, I mean, Hogwarts right here. Now that's some crazy detail. I didn't get my letter to the Hogwarts, so this is as close as I'm getting. But again, very beautiful statement piece to keep on Honestly, wherever you want in your house, it, it really draws the eye and it draws people's attention every single time. 
Yeah, this is amazing. And we can't not talk about the chocolate frog down here, by the way, which I love this. That's adorable. Which is the perfect plush. So it comes like the pillow and the chocolate frog set. Um, and there's different ones on the website. They have a chocolate frog replica, which is obviously a little bit smaller as well. So again, the beauty of, of the Noble Collection, like I said, there's something for everybody. So like we were talking, um, we have numerous wands. Here they are just standing. Like I said, the attention to detail is beautiful. Everything is authentic to the character from the film, which is amazing. And we have very notable items, like, and just absolutely stunning pieces, um, like the Slughorn Hourglass there, that it works perfectly fine. It can be part of your game night if you want it yeah, to. Yeah, that's a stunning piece right there, it really is. I love how, like, the Noble Collection, it really just, like, adds a lot of chic to your general nerdy collection, you know? Like, that's really <laughs> yeah. what it does. It really makes everything look so much better. Yeah, yeah exactly. With it. And if someone is not really a fan of the certain oh. franchise, you can still have it and just kind of let it sit on your bookshelf or let it sit in your living room or wherever you want it, and it still is a beautiful item in itself. I love the sorting hat, how grumpy he looks. That's great. <laughs> this is one of the interactive items. So um, when you put it on, it sorts you into a house. The, it moves. It's beautiful. Hedwig also is interactive. Um, it has two buttons on the inside and the wings flap and the head moves and when the head moves it makes uh noise so i mean you want your own owl that's as close as you got to the head <laughs> trick for sure and then down here we have the patronus plush there are seven um going to be launching in the next year so um, noble collection also has a dc license so beautiful beautiful pieces we have something like the batarang um, and this cowl that is such a statement piece it's really like the size it stands out and speaks for itself and there's, there's a lot of glare right now you guys but trust me it's really <laughs> cool i'm trying to get the best angle of it but this thing is like it's legit looking it's beautiful it's i think it's the closest thing before i become batman and get my mask is this it's just a beautiful piece to have people will be wondering if you maybe you are batman in disguise just not wearing it while they have it in the house and we have um, of course, Harley Quinn's bat, which everything down to the writing that's on it is fantastic. It's a real bat. It's like sturdy. It's definitely, uh, whether you want it just displayed or use it, it's fantastic. Yeah, love the batarangs. But now right here below, we have something we actually did look at on the channel, which is the Star Trek tri-dimensional chess set. And uh, this thing is another monstrous beauty. We loved it when we reviewed it. Everything about it, it's great. Yeah, something new about this, so in the recent Star Trek, they actually used the Nova Collection tridimensional chess set as a prop. Wow. So not only is it an authentic replica, it can now is officially an authentic prop as well, which is fantastic. And it's absolutely beautiful. If you master the chess, the not <laughs> the one uh, dimensional chessboard, you can definitely go ahead and master this one. And it's in itself, it's just a beautiful piece. And you guys actually do have the rules there for how to play tridimensional chess. So if anybody wants to actually try and learn it, you can if you get the set. And then we have the Star Trek Bendy Figs, which we also looked at on the channel here. So, you know, we have these right here. But Aitana, can you tell us, are there future waves of Star Trek Bendy Figs coming out? Never say never. It's constantly growing. We're at Noble Collection's always um, wanting to expand, wanting to see what's out there. So, like I said, never say never. Right. But they're beautiful. Again, this is perfect. We'll talk about bending figs in a little bit, but they all retail for under $20. And the beautiful thing is you don't lose that attention to detail that the Noble Collection is known for with an item that is uh, on lower cost. Yeah, I mean, for as far as bendy figs go, the detail is outstanding. I mean, we reviewed these all. Some of them, we, we did say, you know, we liked some more than others, but yep. for the most part, even a bendy fig, though, I mean, you don't expect this level of detail. And I think there's some better ones we're going to see on, on the other side in a minute. But the Star Trek ones, they're, they're really cool, and they're a nice, affordable, collectible to get. That's kind of different for your collection, too. I sound like I'm a salesperson now, but it's true. We really... <laughs> no, they're just, they're great. <laughs> they really they're are. Fantastic. We like them a lot. And just so you guys know, we also have in this case here the Jurassic Park chess set and some Jurassic Park figurines, which we have looked at on the channel. So if you want to see reviews, details, and all the information about them, just check out our archives, and you'll see all that information there. So up here we have these brand new um, Avatar plush. Again, beautiful, beautiful items. Um, coming soon to the Noble Collection. This is the first time they're being shown as well. They're, abs they're just the cutest things. It's a Momo, look at Momo, he's so adorable. He sits perfect, he perches perfectly on your shoulder and you 
definitely just carry him around. He's, he's awesome. He's the ne your next favorite little buddy. And then we also have some new plush coming out by the ET collection. So this year's <laughs> ET um, film actually is turning 40. Wow, make me feel old, why don't you? <laughs> so as part of the anniversary, the local collection is launching an anniversary collection. So we have a few different options. This ET here that you're seeing is the interactive ET. So if you look at the finger, it does light up, which is awesome. Uh, we also have ET bending fig part of the collection. I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but the finger is um, a different color, just at the tip, just so it's like oh, yeah, it is. lighting up and it comes with the prop flower there. And then we have what we're calling the collector plush, which is ET. It is full disguise getup, which is the cutest thing. Um, and like I said, if you are a huge fan of ET and you are a huge fan of the movie, the collector plush is just a beautiful note to to the film. Yeah, I just love this Barbara Streisand ET right here. <laughs> All right, but we got some really cool chess sets down here too. And Knoebel Collection does chess. Like that's one of the things I feel like they're known for. And this is a beauty. This is, honestly, I wish the camera could capture just absolutely how beautiful. I'm not sure if you can see it properly. It is 3D and the bottom is, um, has like graphics and mounts of yeah, Middle it's Earth. It's absolutely stunning. And everything that's on top is what comes with it. You can purchase other, um, other additional pieces and you can fill in the, the little, little archways there. Little archways, of course. And again, just a beautiful statement piece. You can play chess, of course, it's a fully functioning chess set, but just as an ode to Lord of the Rings, it's absolutely stunning. Yeah, it definitely is hard to really see like how cool the depths of this chess set are, but take my word for it, it's really, <laughs> really strong looking. All right, so I think now uh, we got some Game of Thrones things here, but really this kind of also leads us, I think, to the bigger conversation about bendy figs. We kind of hinted at it, and uh, we got a lot over here. Yeah, so the, what you see, so we have some beautiful Game of Thrones items. What you see here are these uh, newest additions to the bendy figs collection. So we have four Game of Thrones bendy figs launching, and they are, again, absolutely stunning. The attention to detail is insane, and for Game of Thrones fans, you are, definitely going to want to get your hands on these. Yeah, amazing likenesses. I mean, again, these are bendy figs. When you think about bendy figs, you don't think of anything that looks good, honestly, as weird as it sounds. But these look like high quality figures. I mean, yeah, we, we've always been impressed about them. Uh, such great sculpting, you know, really elevates the art of the bendy fig. And there's a uh, number four down here at Daenerys with a dragon. Is that dragon detachable? That one, I believe it is. Oh, yeah, cool. so any of the accessories are typically uh, detachable when it comes with a bendy fig. Very nice, all right. And we got some other stuff down here, including a nice dragon's egg. Uh -huh. So we have the dragon egg. The Noble Collection sells all three dragon eggs. Uh, the red one is here, is pictured here, but you can definitely get your hands on all three. Um, and again, just absolutely beautiful. Don't worry, they won't hatch. Oh. Or maybe, maybe unfortunately, they won't hatch. Uh, <laughs> but they, again, beautiful, beautiful pieces. These cute little dragons over here, too. The cutest. Yeah. So, all right, now we're in bendy fig territory, though. We're going to go deep into these because there's so many. They are amazing. So down here, we have some of the newer collections. Well, you have, we have Wizard of Oz, which is fantastic. And we have all four. The beauty of these is each stand is also uh, different depending on the license. So the Wizard of Oz are on a yellow brick road. You can actually co collect, connect all four stands, which is great if you want to display them that way. You can also, all Benny Figs are, you can remove from the, the stands themselves, which again is great depending on how you want to display them or if you want to play with them. Um, absolutely, absolutely perfect uh, bendable figures. We have some of uh, the um, Harry Potter ones. Harry Potter ones, which is great. Obviously, Hermione and Harry come with their wands, and the cloaks are fabric. So, again, each and every bendy fig is custom to stay true to the character. All right, we also got a few animated dudes up here. Which I, think, I don't think I've seen these before, but yeah, no, I guess these you guys are brand those. new. Yeah. These are absolutely brand new. They are absolutely cute. So the, their wide range of licenses is amazing because like I said, something for everybody, whether you um, are feeling nostalgic and you want some Wizard of Oz or you're a huge fan of Harry Potter um, or even the DC. DC is one of the like biggest, uh, I believe, uh, lines in Benny Fig and there are so many to choose from. 
and what I love about it is that you have options. Whether you really like Harley Quinn and Suicide Squad or Harley Quinn and Birds of Prey or just the Jester Harley Quinn, we have we have a Harley Quinn for you. And I think that's the beauty of it. And they're constantly growing and not replacing the Harley Quinn with one or the other. We're just um, definitely building on that awesome collection. Yeah, lots of variety here. I love the Batgirl too. I think that's my favorite one of all those. I love, I love that outfit to begin with, but that's just a really fun version of Batgirl. But I think really up here, like, are, are the piece de resistance, if you will, of the Noble <laughs> Collections bendies. Like, the horror figs you guys do are outrageous. They are terrifying in the most amazing way. Uh, this is something that definitely keep an eye on because I, if you want to have them displayed, just make sure that they aren't, uh, you know, moving. Yes. But they're definitely recommend you check for that. <laughs> yeah, definitely check for that. But they're absolutely beautiful. They're just, again, the attention to detail behind it and. We have obviously the king of Halloween over here, Michael, who is, ter again, terrifying. Every single one of them is terrifying in the absolute best way. I'm surprised you guys just didn't like reuse the head for the Captain Kirk for this one, since it is the same <laughs> thing, right? So, <laughs> and the Chucky too, wow, like, that's so nice. Like, the fact that it's also fabric on top of him too, that adds a nice little extra layer of uh, classiness to it. Yeah, so um, Annabelle has the fabric as well. So again, each is, custom to the character. If it works best for the character, for it to be fabric, it's fabric. If it's not, obviously, um, it'll be in the same materials as the rest of it. But I think that's the beauty of it. It's not just one size fits all sort of thing. It, it is very customized to the character and the license and the, the franchises. And here is the uh, new Noble Collection logo, by the way, celebrating 30 years. And what a great 30 years it is. I mean, I've just really been only been introduced to Noble Collection in the past few years, but like what a great range of products, really cool stuff. Uh, Aitana, for anybody who's watching today, how can they find out more information about all these cool things you showed us? Definitely be sure to follow the Noble Collection on social media. Instagram is at the Noble Collection, as well as at Bendy Figs for anything that's new and up and coming. And you can also check out the website at thenoblecollection.com. And yeah. Yeah, it's really cool stuff. And by the way, I don't even think we saw this. Look at Sauron, oh my god, and Robert Pattinson, Batman, wow. Okay, like, you're hiding this good stuff from me over here. Like, what's up with that? But yeah, there's so much cool stuff coming. Uh, cannot wait to see what else you guys are doing. So, for anybody who's going to be attending Comic-Con this weekend, where are you guys? We are at booth 1045, so stop by, come check it out for yourselves. We are really, really excited, and we'll be here all weekend. All right, well, thank you so much, Aitana. My pleasure, have a great weekend. Thank you, and this is Matthew from Nerd News Today. Stay tuned for more New York Comic-Con 2022 footage.